I feel the good vibes when me and the roots rock reggae. Real vibes in a Gambian talent, it dead. Good vibes, love it when it rock steady. Make it play every day. Good vibes when me and the roots rock reggae. Real vibes in a Gambian talent, yes, it dead. Real vibes, love it when it rock steady. Make it play every day. You don't know, this is Gambia talent, Jaringo representing street. Watch out. Gamso Bis in focus. With Kalilu Banjang every Saturday from 8 to 10 p.m. <laughs> You want to know about the Gambia entertainment industry? You want to know the existing policies and programs of the arts and culture sector? You want to know about the governance and management of the arts associations? The program will throw a fresh light on the entertainment industry in focus. We will touch so many angles about the cultural sector the opportunities and challenges and interrogate them and most importantly offer solutions. Gambian Talents TV Nyunule la do kuo seneyata Gambia Talents TV Nyunule la do kuo betiyata Gambia Nkala do kuo betiyata Gambia Talents TV Nyunule la do kuo seneyata Gambia Talents TV Nyunule la do kuo betiyata Gambia Nkala do kuo seneyata Yo Gambia Talents TV, Njalam Al Nal Badi Malam Nene Jelisuso, Bintele Bale Jantonko, Alkal Gambian Talents TV Lomo every day and night, TV Lomial and Ku Mashaola, Ila Diamul Capetiale, Promotional Capetiale, Wow, 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 Allah Baraka Bake, Allah Baraka Fossila Cotting. If you want to receive monies from UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are from Kartong to Koina with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. Hello, good evening, and welcome to another edition of the Gamsobis in Focus. Uh, I am your host, Kalilu Banja, and tonight I have two distinguished female, um, you know, actors in the cultural sector of the Gambia. Uh, they go by the name Maria Makoli um, and Sambu Suso. Um, as we uh, commemorate um, the celebrations marking the International Women's Day 2021, um, it is our pleasure uh, to have these two great ladies out from the Gambia. Um, my guests, welcome to the show, Sambu and Mariama. Hello, Ka. Hi, thank you for having us on your platform. <laughs> thank you, Ka. So, Nangendev, Nangendev, uh, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, are we going to start with uh, Wolof and Mandinka, and then later we can go to the program proper? Albenyadi, Al Alba Kulle. Ligang Alhamdulillah. Samu Molmandari Tamoy come back and I give a cook and a dog. Come be young Alhamdulillah. Mhm. Very young Kennedy. Yamamoy. Come be young Bemoy Kandasa. Bemoy Kan Bemoy Kandabaka. Maria Maita Dung. Maria Maiba fine ring.
Mariama, are you okay? Yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> you can hear me now. Okay, good. Yes. So, so uh, Mariama, um, so how are you doing? What is going on? What is going on at the moment with you um, in the Gambia? What is happening right now? I can see that you are running everywhere. Um, there is an award going on, Be a Star with Afrisal, um, which is happening every Sunday. Um, so I am aware that you know there are some rehearsals taking place and you are part of uh, that organization. What are you doing uh, critically uh, to make that happen? Yes, so I, um, of course, anyone who knows me knows that I work with Afri Radio, which is under Afri Cell. I am an actress and mm -hmm. I am the founder and now of Studio 411. So um, Afri Cell is uh, producing a competition called Be a Star with Afri Cell, where they are giving away half a million dollars to the winner and an album recording deal. This is to promote um, music talent in the Gambia and, of course, to give opportunities and platforms to raw talents. Uh, some mm -hmm. of them we've never seen before, some of them we've never heard of before you know, to come out and compete and have this life changing opportunity. So I am the host of this uh, massive competition, which happens every Sunday, uh, 5.30 p.m. live on AfriCell social media pages and uh, Jati is live. So right now, as we are speaking, I am um, at Paradise Suites Hotel. Uh, this is, this mm -hmm. is our rehearsal ground. So you're going to excuse, you know, the movements and everything that is happening. So literally right now, that is what is, you know that that is what is happening despite COVID. you know we're still taking precautions and that is why we're not having audience invited it's all online so we're trying to keep safe while doing the show okay um thank you so much and that is the very reason why i have to um uh, ask that question so that the people can understand that you are outside you are somewhere doing your job uh, as we know you uh, as a presenter and also working with one of the uh, biggest telecommunication companies in the gambia so uh, so that uh, the the audience will be able to um, excuse us uh, with some of the noises that coming around <laughs> so that, is, that is the very reason i have to ask that but again um, right. we will come back to you we will come back to okay. you um and to talk about um your your career what you do as an actress and also a tv presenter and an activist i like that part mm -hmm. and then we will come to that later uh mariama okay. uh auntie sambu sambu how are you doing i'm good you are good. Uh, Sambu Suso, um, tell us something about you, uh, yourself. Um, who is Sambu Suso? Where do you hail from? Um, because a lot of people will say you are you, you are you were born in Banjul, but I don't think you are a Banjulian. Tell us something that? about yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, my parents are from Basse, uh, Talto. And okay. Uh, but we, yeah, but we are from, but we stayed in Banjul. Okay. And so I, you you come from a Giriad family. Yeah, Tell us a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. My father is a corrupt player. Mm -hmm. and my mom is, you know, mm -hmm. inherited it naturally. It's a natural talent. <laughs> but but you you all say you all say it's a natural talent. But um, I tend to defer sometimes because mm -hmm. you must have to learn it uh, uh, even at that young stage. Um, yeah. and, and that is very important, you know, so that the people understand that it's not only a natural talent that has been, you know, given to you, but again, um, you learn it from somewhere, you know. Did you learn it from your mom or your dad? Yeah. Because I heard that your dad, your mom was a very good singer. So can can yeah. you can you tell us something about that? My mom is a singer. I was a very mm -hmm. good singer, and my dad plays the chora, you know. Okay. And I love music. I love it since I was young. So. I focus them on, on, on the music, uh, trying to sing since I was uh, very, very young. That's why, you know, so I continue singing since the time I was in school. I was singing, you know, I like singing. I love singing. Okay. Wow. So, all right. That is Sambu for you. Uh, Sambu, we know uh, quite a lot about you with regards to... Um, some of the things that you do we are aware of the fact that you are the president of the female artists association uh, which was conceived uh, by the 
uh, Women's Bureau, uh, the National Women's Bureau of the Gambia, and they are also part of the Women's Federation. I know quite a lot of people don't know about that, but you will talk to mm -hmm. us about that. And then we will go into your career as a person. Uh, we are aware also that um, you have signed a record deal with the Jell of Arts Entertainment. Um, we will talk about that also. But then uh, we come to Mariama. Mariama, Mariama, back to you, because you, we, we don't have quite a lot of time with you. So we want to hear uh, some of the exceptional things that you are doing right now in the Gambia. We are aware of the fact that um, uh, you are an international award-winning actress. Um, you know, um, the first time I know you, uh, that was when you guys were recording The Han of Fate. Um, and, and, and this movie critically looks into uh, some of the societal ills that were happening in the Gambia with regards to female genital mutilation and forced marriage. Um, I, I can tell you for sure that uh, that film went so far and, uh, you know, part of the production that was when I knew you. So can you tell us something about your films and relating them to the societal ills. Uh, this is very important. And, and I think that is the reason why you are an activist, because most of the films that you are taking part of, they are talking about societal ills that are happening in the Gambia, just like forced marriage, early marriage, and at the same time, female genital mutilation. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Carl. Now, I started acting when I was 12 from school drama club and that's when i also started radio you know with youth shows and international children's day of broadcasting and um activism being part of lots of organizations that i was actively a part of like lender hand society children against aids you know i was a peer health educator so um i really gained exposure and um knowledge at that time about my rights and what i wanted as a young woman and also as a child growing up. So mm -hmm. it all proceeded to high school, you know, until after high school, I got featured on Hand of Fate, which was produced by Mandy Mori, Ibrahim Sise. So that was my mm -hmm. first movie. Um, like you mentioned, it was on child marriage and uh, FGM as well. So I got nominated for the African Oscars from that movie in 2013. And in 2014, I got featured on the Swedish Gambian movie movie, which was probably the biggest international production we had in the Gambia, where I acted. And then uh, from there, I got featured on Bibit, uh, which is my recent movie that I acted lead role, which is also on child marriage. And I was also the production manager through my production company called Studio 411. I am also an actress with Ibunjan Theatre, which is the only theatre in the Gambia. So after my um, movie on hand of Fate, I was looking for a learning opportunity to enhance my skill and my knowledge on acting. And of course, I heard of Auntie Janet and the Ibundian Theatre, and I approached them. Luckily, I got enrolled mm -hmm. in the theatre where I studied performing arts uh, for six months with her. And if you know Auntie Janet, you will know that she's the best we got in the Gambia when it comes to performing um, art, but especially theatre. So, um, all Coming down to now, I mean, um, I believe in using performing arts as a tool to educate mm. and um, to raise awareness on issues that we are faced with in our society, be it uh, women related issues or issues that are related with children and uh, the youth. Now, as we mm -hmm. all know in Gambia, we have a lot of cultural practices that affect the lives of women, uh, which includes and child marriage and domestic violence. So I am so honored and, and lucky that I have been able to be uh, featured on movies that are related to what I advocate for. It has been very impactful. Um, maybe it was a movie that was done in Wolof just so people can relate with the story and understand how much damage some of these cultures are affecting us. Not every woman might be free or willing to share this story but we've heard stories of so many women who are affected by these cultural practices so um basically i love art i mean i love acting it's my life <laughs> i love yeah. media yes so these are all platforms that i use to advocate and create awareness and of course feature other people's 
stories as well. Yeah, so because uh, I, I think that is um, uh, that is very good and also uh, that is where our interest is uh, because when you look at it um, as a third world country or as a developing country or a developing nation, we can call the Gambia, uh, we need awareness creation. And, and then to be able to do that, you, you have to know as a cultural um, actor, um, which kind of uh, advocacy tools that you need to use to be able to promote um, uh, some of these um, social um, ills that are happening uh, in our country. And, you know, we, we want to thank you and maybe some of your team members um, who are directing some of these uh, activities. So the, the theme you were talking about, is it called Mbebet? Is that Mbebet? Mbebet. Yeah, Mbebet. It's a whole of word meaning desire. So my baby, like what? you know, your baby. It, it meaning is desire or want. Okay, meaning mean... desire or want. Oh. Wow. Well. Uh -huh. Think Zambo okay. can can help you. I think that is what it means. Yeah. <laughs> And the Zambo, and the Zambo, Maria, Maria want you to help, help her. You know, maybe. Nakala, nakala, lulu, nakala. What is desire? desire a desire okay well, um, something you okay. want something you are you, you like you want to have exactly uh, yes. okay hunger hunger yen uh so you are trying to link that uh 50 50 women empowerment whatsoever tool to say that okay what the man can do the woman also can do that so the women need to have that desire to be pushing you know to get to that stardom is it something like that? I didn't <laughs> oh, say am that. I, I, confusing that's what them. I, <laughs> I didn't say that. That's not what I, I said. But I, I wish you can watch the movie so you can understand the storyline of the movie. It's mainly focused on child marriage and how the, the rights of children are, are, are violated because every a child should be married off and they have the right to choose or decide on what they want. So when we talk about 50-50, 50-50 doesn't mean we're trying to compete with men on power equality. That's not what we want. Mm -hmm. We're talking about mm -hmm. respecting the rights and um, allowing women to manifest what they want and how they want it done, uh, especially in equity within workspaces or within the performing arts sector. You see that men are dominating or are given more opportunities than women when we are actually able and probably we are even performing performing way better than the men in the industry but at exactly. the most time we, mm -hmm. we are left aside you know we're not given that equal opportunity like men so when we talk about 50 50 that is what it means 50 50 doesn't mean the next they come we go again you know open dollar but like normally it's not a competition it's about reminding people that we have desires we have rights and we need to be respected just because i'm a woman doesn't mean that i need to be treated any less when it comes to work if you're paying the man 100,000, you need to pay me 100,000 as a woman, let me do the mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. You know, or if you're giving me a responsibility to mm -hmm. do a, a particular job, allow me 100% to be independent, to be able to do it. But don't give me the job. I'm like, ah, he's again, like, I'm not even sure that not like, uh, like, heavy. You know, the fact that we are women is always affecting our growth and our success in the industry. And even in the community, in our homes, in society, Society and everywhere. So this is what we are fighting for the injustice. But that's not what the movie Bibit is centered around. Now the film was directed and produced by Osman Jaju. Anybody who knows Osman Jaju, you know he's an amazing creative. And he invited me on this project uh, to act as lead role and to be the production manager of the movie as, as well. Now the movie is doing extremely well. It's winning so many awards and going to so many festivals in Europe and in America. Recently, I won um, an award from the U.S. Hollywood International Golden Film Awards uh, where I was nominated and at the end of the day I won and I was on the, the same category with American and Spanish actors. So that was a big accomplishment for my career and the Gambian movie industry. And mm -hmm. recently I won another award as Best Actress at the Romania um, Film Festival which was also a mind-blowing um, award for all of us because this is what we want for the Gambia film industry. We want the world to know that we have talents, we have potentials, who can break barriers. And we have beautiful stories that when they are told and filmed properly, we can go a long way. 
All right. Um, thank you so much, Mariama. I think that is uh, loud and clear. And um, yeah. Auntie Sambu, Auntie Sambu, I just want you to, um, you know, um, interact with Mariama with regards to what she is saying. Um, like um, the the kind of movies that she is bringing forward. They're talking about uh, child right advocacy. They're talking about uh, women empowerment. They're talking about women representation um, in leadership roles. Um, we are talking about culture and uh, inequality. You know, that is a great topic. When you were in um, uh, Tanzania, uh, Mariama, I will inform you that Sambu was invited by the International Musicians Federation. And the topic uh, during that time, that was three years ago or four years ago, it was uh, inequality in the cultural sector. So Sambu, uh, what can you relate with what Mariama is saying? Uh, Mariama, what can you relate to that? Are you also putting that in your songs as a cultural, um, you know, a griot singer? Uh, okay. I, yeah, I, I control Sambu, yeah. Sambu, your mic is muted. Now you, are, you can talk. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. this topic is very interesting. Um, talking about girls and uh, especially the young ones, like what she said about movement. You know, they also mm -hmm. have their desires. They want to do mm -hmm. something for themselves. You know, um, and you know now girls are very, very brave and they stand strong. They want to be strong. They want to do big things like what men men are doing. You know, we don't want to be left mm -hmm. behind. So I support her, hundred mm -hmm. <laughs> percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. and so I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really honored that I'm, I'm sharing the same platform with Auntie Sam. You know, she's an instrumental figure for us in the industry, whether she knows it or not. We, you know, we see her as a role model and someone who, who is like a go-getter. You know, right back when she started music, you know, Midanda Jam. I think I was when I fell in love with her. You know, uh, until today. You know, yeah. also. I think Auntie Sambu is just one of the million stories that we have of women who, who don't who don't give up on their craft. No, 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 we don't give up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And, and, and that is the relation, that is the relationship I want to bring here because uh when when we can uh, recall, um uh, Sambu uh, uh, was the first female artist who sang about um Bindandu Jam. So that okay. means um uh, how do you call right. it? A home worker. Yeah, a home worker, yeah, right for the uh, not a slave, right. you know. So yeah. I, yeah, the reason why, why somebody did you come up with that song during that time? Is it because of the society was like using that as a kind of an opportunity uh, to be you able know, to ex uh, or oppress the young girls? You know, some people, some people see them as, you know, slaves. Like, as you are paying mm -hmm. them, you have the full right on them. No, they also have their life to live, so you should... Be uh, with them because you know this world is a long way, so you never know. Uh, so when you when you when you even when you take someone for work, respect her, give her her due, you know, or not to use her like you are the mm -hmm. So you sit aside here, we'll eat here, we'll be on the high table, you'll be in the kitchen eating. I hate that. I don't like that. I want people to treat each other equally. Yeah. So you, you, you employ someone to work for you and the person is like cleaning, washing, and then cooking at the same time. Be, but again, uh, you don't even respect them. Yeah. He can be cleaning for you, doing your household mm -hmm. chores. But he should also, she, sorry, she should also be respected. She should be your confident because you're confident because you don't know. She knows some things that you don't know. You should exactly. be a, a, a friend to her. There may be someone is mm -hmm. planning something bad, but when you are bad to her, mm -hmm. she'll also be bad to you. So that's the problem. So we have to take them, exactly. bring them along, exactly. show them love, show them that we are all equal, we are all human beings. The reason that she's working for you is not, is, she's not weak. Maybe there are certain mm -hmm. reasons that's why she's working for you. You know, she don't have chance to go to school. She don't have chance to, you know, some uh, things that she would like to have when she was young. Her, maybe her parents cannot pro provide for her everything. So she has to work, mm -hmm. you know, to survive. So yeah, you have to understand to. something that you are, you are rich and you are mighty. So you are better than her. No, no, no. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like treating people that way. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I sang that song. Anyway, any, like, anyway, 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 when I sing that song, after that is that your song, personal. Uh, that is your personal view, and we know the kind of character you are. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know the kind of character you are. When, when when people come to your home, I mean, you know, food is like seared among everyone. And then, you know, I I can I can attest to that. When during breakfast, you know, the amount of bread of lo loaf of breads that you you buy, you know, uh, for the family, I can I can just believe it. I mean, congratulations. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Um, you see, uh, this is the reason why. I, I decided to bring two of you because I know you have a lot to say. Um, but but again, what is important is is, is the messages that we are capturing um, in our creative works, uh, which is very important. The reason why Mariama is going far, you know, beyond the borders of the Gambia is because of the messages that she is sending outside. Mm -hmm. And then uh, at the same time, what she is advocating for is uh, very much uh, significant with regards to the development of our country and we have to applaud her for that um you know so we go forward again as uh, auntie sambu um we were talking about we were talking about the female artist association and this is another related topic that relates to women empowerment you know it was initiated by the national women's bureau can you tell us something about uh, uh, about that uh, why why the female artists association yeah that that association was uh, formed by uh, madam i certify haidara mm -hmm. yeah she regrouped us and um, called me told me to look for the female artists and we went to her bureau and have a uh we have a meeting with her then that is how the female artists uh, association to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay. now, you know, yeah, yeah. And we've, we've, we've uh, played many shows with the Women Federation. Mm -hmm. with the, under the vice president's, uh, the former vice president's watch, Madam Asad, mm -hmm. said. So we've done, mm -hmm. we've, we've, we've traveled with, we've, we've um, uh, traveled with them as, uh, up country. For the mm -hmm. national, for the uh, International Women's Day, mm -hmm. every year we play with, we 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 gather the girls and we go together and go and play there, have a show with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you can remember some of some of those days. It was nice. We enjoyed it. and and um the that make us come together as friends. We mm -hmm. are we are we some are friends. Some are you know have a very very good relationship. It was because mm -hmm. it was because of the female access station. You know, we mm -hmm. have a very good relationship between uh, us, our friends, we are sisters, we are always together, we call each other, we um, have programs together, you know. So that love uh, makes me so happy to have the National Female Access Association. So I, are you thinking yeah. in a direction, I will, I will stop you here, are you thinking in a direction uh, to be able to get the Maria Mokolis to, to manage these kind of setups because um, it's related to women and uh, they got the, um, the know-how to be able to place your product and also to be able to market you, uh, something like that. Um, are you thinking in that direction? That would be nice if we have Maria on board. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether he, yeah. she'll have our time because I can see she's a busy lady. I don't know whether she'll have the time, but we'll no, see. Got, see, 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 got a production yeah. company. See, see got a production right. company, Studio Four One One. Amen. Yeah. We'll we'll check on Mariama. We'll talk to Mariama. Inshallah. No, and Auntie Sam. Auntie Sambo has my support and every woman who's doing music in the okay. Gambia. Uh, people know that I also have a radio show where I invite, you know, everyone in the creative. And of course, Auntie Sambo is on my list. I've, I've been planning to have her on the show. It's just that this day's oh, BS Star okay. with Africa has taken everyone's time at Africa right now. But um, I'll definitely reach out to her to come, so what, come on the show. I'm not sure if I can be part of the, 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 the organization or you know their club but that is mainly their thing they're musicians so let me just yeah i don't understand what is happening with the network i think it's enough yeah. can you hear so, me yeah i am hearing you yeah mariama you want to come in oh. yeah no i was just saying you're asking if i can join them and stuff like that i'm saying this is their thing i'll just i'll just support from the back but uh you know they have my support I have a radio platform where I would love to interview them and, you know, especially Auntie Sambu to share their story 
yeah, of course, what you're doing. So that for sure will happen. But, uh, you know, to be part of their movement and everything, I just allow them to do the thing that is a music area. I know I worked with the music industry before. I was lucky to work with music or record, mm -hmm. which was uh, one of the first music built in the Gambia where I manage about four artists, you know. But right now I'm focused more on my acting career and the media job that I'm doing, you know, just so I can focus and develop what I'm doing. Of course, studio four one one. So, but then the radio is open to everyone, everyone, you know. And I would love to have them on my show. We'll talk. I'll, I'll reach out to Auntie Sambu. That's for sure. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Mariama. Yes. I, I I believe that. I believe that. So we are cajoling the relationship um, that you all have, oh, like the musicians and the radio presenters, and at the same time, some of the issues that you are talking about, they are very much related uh, with regards to them uh, coming up with messages, um, you know, similar to what you are doing. And 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 I think you know when you guys have what you call uh, talks here and there. Uh, you will be able to support each other and and to be able to coach each other uh, on the right direction. Maybe Mariamo will say, "Oh, um, um, you know, I have gathered a lot of experience from Sambu, but again, uh, Sambu also can benefit from you. You know, uh, coming Kebal Kafanya. I will say that in our language, eco. You know." Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but we are learning from them. I am learning from them, you know. I'm, I'm I am learning definitely. from you too. And I'll be learning from you too. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning from each other. It we never stops, you know. It mm -hmm. never stops. Yeah, yeah. Stop. yeah let it stop. <laughs> Okay, so so now so now I I just want us to go critically into the creative sector, and and then this question will come to both of you. I, I had Mariama complaining the other time about you know uh, the the center and then you know what the government needs to do for the um, the the entertainment sector and uh, uh, for Sambu critically we've been working together for quite a long time so I know your position uh, but again I will allow you um, to be able to answer this question both of you uh, what do you think? As a country, we should be able to empower like uh, the creative uh, sector of the Gambia. Do you all think that is an enabler for the socio-economic development of the Gambia? And then you know the government needs to take it seriously and uh, as well as support you know the sector. Um, Mariama is coming back. So Mariama, so I was saying that. Um, do you both think? that the creative sector is an enabler for socio-economic development of the Gambia, and then it needs to be taken I'm seriously. I'm not getting you clearly. Okay, so now I, I will repeat my question again. Um, do you both think, do you both think that the creative sector of the Gambia, it can be an enabler for the socio-economic development of the Gambia, and the government of the Gambia must take it seriously? The government of the Gambia must do what? Sorry, the network is really I'm acting up right now. So, so I'm saying, in your own view, do you think the creative industry of the Gambia can be an enabler for the socio-economic development of the country and the government of the Gambia should take it seriously? Hmm. I'm not getting most of the things you are saying. I heard socio-economic development of the Gambia. Are you um, saying in relation to performing arts? Exactly. Uh, generally, um, if theater, film, music, you know, painting, performance, anything. So you think that they are an enabler for development and should be taken seriously? Of course. Okay, I'm not. I'm, the question is breaking because of the internet. But I, I think from what I can hear, um, if we are talking about the social economic of uh, the performing arts industry and uh, what we need uh, in terms of development um, economically in the Gambia, I think a lot needs to be done. Structures needs to be put in place. I think the industry, both music and performing arts. Okay, uh, Auntie Sambu, can you pick from there? Can you pick from there? <clears throat> yeah, um, like 
music music can uh, mm -hmm. play a great role in the socio economic this country as mm -hmm. you know um, music is money mm -hmm. music can bring, music can bring tourists music can bring it can bring many things in this country so they should take it seriously like we need um, a copyright bureau we need we need mm -hmm. a copyright law to be implemented gambian uh, mm -hmm. the entertainment se sector need needs that because that is our that is our um like when we retire that's where we benefit from from you know mm -hmm. so the music, mm -hmm. like the copyright law should be implemented our music should be protected our music should, there are many things that are not happening mm -hmm. here we are doing music just that we like it but not for like it is mm -hmm. not realized you know like it mm -hmm. is not protected you know you are singing just like that someone can take your song there's nothing you can do i can i i i, I there are I think there was a problem about that uh, taking someone's song and go to court. Like I think what happened here. I don't know I, if I if I could remember, recall. I think I forgot. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe 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 that will be uh, somebody like Mariama is coming into. So maybe uh, 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 that is somebody okay. like. Uh, yeah, you you are coming into, but it doesn't matter. So. Um, we will get you. So, um, Sambo, that is right. Um, th there was uh, this lady called um, 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 Sukai Boja. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, you know, she was she was writing some writer, books. A writer, yeah, I think. Yeah. So, and then and then some of the schools in the Gambia they took that book and they were like reproducing those books. Mm -hmm. And then you know she went to court and then she won the court case. There was a time also Jaliba Kwiate also, you know, there was a lot of people, um, we call them the retail shops uh, in Serakunda market. So they were yeah, producing uh, mm -hmm. his, his album. Yeah. And then NCSC wanted to go to court, but again, I mean, that was okay. But uh, what I'm, you know, I can understand your point of view. That is, you think um, music is a contributing factor to the socioeconomic development of the Gambia and should be taken seriously. Yeah. Uh, maybe Mariam, your, your opinion with regards to that. You were talking about we need like structures, and I, I like that part. You know, uh, what are some of these structures that are lacking in your Mariam? Mariam, I think her network is bad. Yeah, Mariama's network is a little bit back, uh, but and she told us that. So, uh, Sambu, Mariama was critically talking about mm -hmm. structures. Um, what do you think? Which kind of structures are in on your on your progress? Um, I would like to come in uh, the vernacular. Huh? Can mm -hmm. I come? Yeah. So, yeah, you you can um, come. Is it now Mandinka Yeah, come in. Yeah, come in back for the Yalo Gambia music wonya sata pa mabaka de nya de paske bitol bare nga gel fanan banko do fanan ka hane bila copyright law man lo foro de banko wo banko le waratan to lajan do ben tar Tanzania nga some of them we are talking about that. yeah but music mm -hmm. ka corona ko kan mission na fundi da banatra mission na ka na ka ja banatra le ar mission o o film o producer ye meme soto if I be bad pumped to the Gambian economy, you understand. So, what in a bank in your time, you get a car, actual Marquay, and see a thing and tell Ulilay Dokoke, you understand. Ah, I can tell the Dokoke back of them. Ah, um, gentleman producer Mansia Yaji, Liberal Mansia, Gendal, I feel like that. But in your time, you look at Doku back and music outside, and in theater side, Yaji. A theater. Uh, okay, uh, Namara Mariama Natala. Mariama, Mariama, did you get uh, what uh, um, Sambu is trying to say um, uh, with regards to the implementation of the copyright law? And I think which will uh, partially, you know, not even fully, fully, it's not partially, can partially or fully uh, affect also the uh, the film industry. Um, what do you think about that? But you were talking about uh, structures, and, and and I want us to dissect that. Which kind of structures were you talking about, particularly? 
that that yes, are lacking like in the conventions. I mean, um, you know, the copyright law is important to be there to protect our works as creatives because there's no sort of, there's no protection of our works in the Gambia. People are pirating every day. Nothing comes out of it. You know, people are copying and sending songs. You know, selling them instead of buying the albums of the musicians or buying our uh, video movie productions that we produce, they go and copy it or download it somewhere and start selling it, making their own money instead of buying it from us who produce and spend money on it. At the end of the day, how do they expect us to survive from, from these type of works? And then it is our uh -huh. people who, you know, so everything has, um, how to call it, there's a guideline to everything. I think the government of the Gambia is still not putting efforts and pumping money into the performing arts world, which is sad because this is why we're losing most of our creatives. They either leave the country or they quit music and we start blaming them like, yo, I'm on talent, I'm what them by Gambia and stuff like that. But again, are we doing enough to protect the people who are in the creative world? There is none. And, um, you know, the structures that I'm talking about is actually now I can see they are happening. You have the federations, you have the unions and all of that. But still more work needs to be done. That is if we all unite and work with the same interest, I think it will help us to go a long way. You know, let's agree on some key important things and try to make sure we push with the government to implement them, you know. I, I, I one time heard of a rumor that very soon they will start charging us for tax. But how can you charge people who are not making money from their work tax? How does that even make sense? Like, we are waiting for that day to come because we will never... <laughs> it's funny. When I heard of it, I was laughing. I'm like, how can you charge tax to people who are not making money and you're not even protecting them? You're not even supporting them? Like, yeah. these are all things that need to be done for us to grow to the next level. We have producers who will come into this country, work with us, don't pay us our royalties because we don't have enough laws or enough, you know, regulations that are put in place to protect us or to fight for us. We have all these mm -hmm. organizations that I'm mentioning, to, mentioning right now. But again, if we don't have them as regulations, which I know will take a lot of work and investment, and of course, creating awareness for people to know but with time we will get there like Auntie Sambu so, is well, saying uh, uh, Mar Mariama, Mariama yeah. I, I, I must say that we need voices like you to be able to raise concerns in that direction because you are a radio presenter now I will, I will yeah. just give you um, a little bit rundown with regards to that we had uh, the Copyright Act in 2004 when Jamin was there and then uh, the Copyright Act was enacted in Parliament. So it is your role as a cultural activist and at the same time as an activist uh, to be able to follow, you know, to hold uh, the, uh, the, the, the officials accountable with regards to the implementation of that, uh, that act. Uh, and I, am then, not, and then, I am, and then, I am uh, not a sculptor, but I am not a cultural activist. I am a performer. I am an actress. You understand? I work within the creative industry. That is true. It is also oh. my interest to fight and follow up with all of these things. But we mm -hmm. all have presidents. We have the Actors Guild. We have uh, SAC. We have the Music Union. Why are they mm -hmm. selected? Why do we have those presidents there? We selected them because mm -hmm. I have been to all those congresses. Mm -hmm. We. I participate during Congress. I make sure I go to their meetings if I'm available or if I'm in town. We put them there so they can walk, you know, uh -huh. because uh -huh. individually I may not be able to do much. But if a body like the Film Actors Guild or the, the Film Actors Association or the Music Union, Union. as big uh -huh. as their title, walk together and go to Parliament or wherever they're supposed to go to fight for this, it will make more sense and it will even be more effective than individually me trying mm -hmm. to run around everywhere. I cannot do it. That's the honest I totally, I, I, I totally that, agree. I totally agree with you. Um, I, I must say that I totally agree with you. It, uh, it is a, a collective endeavor whereby people have to come together uh, to be able to um, um, request uh, for some of these things uh, that are already written in the books, but they are not implemented. I, I totally agree with you. And you talk critically about, you know, investing in the in the creative sector. I must say that, you know, there is this formula. Uh, it, it's just like a mathematical formula. So we say mm -hmm. less production, 
uh, uh, less investment, less production. Because even in the agricultural sector, if there is no investment in the sector, if there is no investment in the health sector, you cannot you yeah. cannot be able to do production. You know the production will be minimal. So we need the same uh, in the creative sector. We need investors. It can be pri private personnels. Um, it can also be government. Uh, we are not saying exclusively government have to do everything. But again, they must be able to complement uh, some of the great things that people like you are doing. So, uh, Maria, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, I think we will we will we will talk a lot about this because we are we are just going around, but because you don't have enough time, but we will talk more about that. Uh, Ante Ante Sambo, can I sign out, please? Like yeah. I have to go all the way to the camera right now. So I just thank wanted you. to sign thank, out. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we know that um, you are busy at the moment. Uh, with the uh, be a star with Africel, the um, uh, the telecommunication company in the Gambia that is yeah. showcasing uh, talents, uh, young talents, and and then you you are saying that they will be awarding like a one million Gambian dollar see, um, half a million, half a million, five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, five hundred thousand Gambian dollars. You, you see, that, that is a very big encouragement, and and, and yeah. I think uh, Sambu is having a kid there. Sambu, are you having our Gambia? Is our Gambia your daughter? No, Maria, uh, my brother's daughter, Maria Gambia. So, so, so you, you, she quit. She quit <laughs> for what? I don't know. I've Who quit? My Maria Magambi. She's my brother's uh, daughter. Oh, Mariama, yes. Yeah, Mariama, yeah. Oh, she could. No, but, but what about our Gambia? Because there was a time. I think Gambia is part of the program. She's yeah, our Gambia yeah. is part of the program. But you were you were teaching her before some time ago. I could remember that. Not our, not our. Uh, not teaching. our. You were talking okay. about. I no no not our. I was teaching our. Okay, okay. So I was thinking that the 500 will come to you. But anyway, you know, let's hope for the best. So Mariama, uh, thank you so much. I am exceedingly glad to have you tonight. And I, I think we're going to have you more times. And then, uh, you know, um, I would rather say I will, I will oblige you to follow up with regards to the uh, cultural policies and the legal frameworks that are available in the Gambia so that you can also place it and hold some people accountable and uh, we, we i will support you with regards to that um by supplying some of the key documents that you need in your advocacy to be able to push that uh until you come our way next time we want to say have a great evening and thank don't, you so much don't send yeah. anything because i'm not I, I don't, i'm not i'm not pushing for that send it to the presidents of these guilds let them learn let them know because i'm doing my part individually like i'll i'll take anything that you send of course for me to learn and enhance myself because you know i have been doing that i work within the industry and i learn about everything that i need to protect my work to protect myself and the people that i work with but please share it with the presidents it's their responsibilities let them push we have their support like like i told you i always go to this congress i go to the meetings i haven't taken any executive responsibility yet because i know i don't have the time but they have my support you know mm -hmm. so please share with and um, I'm honored to be on your platform, Carl. Thank you so much. And I'm honored to be on the same platform with a lady like Auntie Sambu. We are inspired with your work. And I celebrate you on this Thank important you. month where we are recognizing the efforts of women. And I look forward to having an exclusive interview with you on my platform very soon. But Carl, thank you so much. You're doing great. And I appreciate your support and everything that you're doing for the performing arts world. And I want to extend my greatest uh, thanks to the entire Gambian population for always standing up for me. You know, anytime they hear about, you know, my awards and everything, I am really grateful. And I want to say thank you so much. I love you all. And I appreciate the support of my entire family and my parents who are currently watching. I didn't even tell them about the interview. I don't know how they got to see it. I think they saw it from the flyer, but they are currently watching. So thanks to okay. them for their support and everything. Thank beautiful. you, Carl. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much, Mariam. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, Thank beautiful. You. Thank, Thank you. you. I love you. Love you too, Mariam. We'll talk more. Later. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, Mariam. Yeah. So maybe Mama Africa is also watching uh, one of your moms. Uh, Sambu, yeah. Yeah, Mariam. So I, I think Sambu, we will just 
Um, we are almost to the hour mark. Uh, I will not keep you long. So we have only 10 minutes. So, Samu, uh, currently you are signed by Joel of Arts Entertainment. And then uh, I know you guys are working on an album. Um, uh, can you tell us some of the albums that you are, you are working with them? Are you working with them any with, uh, with regards to albums or something? Yeah, yeah, we are working on an album. We are, so we are releasing. We've released, I think, three songs now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then and we are working on others. There are others in the studio that we are working on. Inshallah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, this uh, COVID nineteen setback. Uh huh. Everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of Joel of Arts too, I've been to uh, Dhaka with. I have this song with John Seka. Mm -hmm. Across his across project. Um. Also, okay. we are also part of that. With some of the artists from Joel of Arts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, but I mean. Yeah, so if we if if we want to know because uh, critically we did not go into your uh, biography with regards yeah, to your CV. I know time. very well. I know very well that your first album, you know, they, they call it the the Afro Manding uh, yeah, yeah, Queen. Queen of Afro yeah. So that was recorded. Was it recorded in Sweden or was it recorded Sweden in UK? And Sweden and Gambia. It was recorded in Sweden, so Sweden and Gambia. Gambia. From in Sweden and part of it was recorded here in, in the Gambia. So, um, did you manage to get uh, some performances outside the Gambia with regards yeah, yeah, to yeah. that album? Yes, where which places like UK? I have a performance in UK, in Sweden, and um, uh, in Paris, uh, in, in Paris also. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then, uh, so, so, um, who, who was the uh, executive uh, producer of, of, of that album? Panjai, Pamudinjai. Oh, okay. Well, Pamudinjai. Okay, uh, good. Uh, so then, um, from there, did you have uh, any major um, production, um, um, like contract that you you had, you know, with regards to your career after after that production? After the yeah, after the production, I traveled. I traveled. No, but I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about a major production contract. Ah, um, like, like like an album. Yeah, after like, that. No, 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 no. I was just releasing singles, only singles. But now that I'm with Jeff Art, so we are trying to record an album. Okay, so um, there is one important thing also we know, um, you, you know, in Mandinka, I always say that in Mandinka because it's easy for people to understand, uh, that is Batufa, uh, I, I call it Batufa, but again, you know, in the modern day music, you know, that is the crowd pooling ability of, an, uh, of a musician, uh, because um, most of the concerts that are taking place in the Gambia, especially the national concerts, and you know when companies are also organizing like gala dinners or things like that normally they will contract artists from senegal uh, they will contract um, some international artists but most of the time sambususo is part of the cake why is it because yeah, yeah, I mean, you have an existing band with yourself yeah i was having my band but now you know i'm as I'm working with Joel of Arts, so I'm using Joel of Arts band. You understand? I, am I, now I, I don't get it. Band. But if I have an outside program, I have people who can bag me on that too. You know, you know, you know, we are girls. We do have outside programs, like um, weddings and uh, um, naming ceremonies. You know, that's traditional. But Joel of Arts has its own band that back me on Joel of Arts programs. You understand? Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah. You know, you know so, so the, we have traditional the, music. we have traditional music that we sing, sing. So those traditional music uh -huh. are for this uh, butterflies, you know. Uh -huh. And when you are playing for, uh, a gala dinner or a, a a show, you know, it's different. Singing for a butterfly and singing for a show is different. So it's a two different thing, you know, because this one you are singing for a butterfly. You are singing traditionally, but that one is modern. modern. You understand? Okay. At, 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 it's modern. We modernize the music. I sing modern. I can. I sing traditional too, but I most of the songs we do is modern. We modernize. 
Okay, so so you are tell, you, you you are telling us that I understand that part. So you are telling us that when you are when you are um, uh, singing for the local communities, like naming ceremony, wedding yeah. ceremony, and oh, and sure. some of the, yeah. So you, you you have your own traditional band. So you you have a collection of yeah. instruments. Yeah, yeah. Chorus, that, you can have you know like traditional thing. But when it comes to jollof arts, we have a band. At in the band too, we invite, sometimes invite Kora players. We sometimes invite a balafon player, but we have a band. God, it is modernized. You understand? Okay. You know, okay. You, you know we have categories. Mm -hmm. uh, you have traditional, you have modern. All right. So, so, no, so I then, um, I can traditional. What, I what do Jollof add? Yeah, but, 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 but I'm, I, I just want to uh, make this a little bit um, like simple. So it means that um, the Jollof band um, uh, uh, contract is basically for the mainstream music, like the music, like the modern day music, the music that you can be able to put there, you know, when private companies need you or national festivals or outside the Gambia. It, yeah. it, is that's the kind of agreement that you have with them? No, it is not just an. It is not even an agreement because I can take a. I can take a traditional song, and modernize it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like okay. this mangyaolo. Okay. Mangyaolo is traditional, but we modernize it. The first okay. song I did them. We modernize oh, it. Because um, what is disturbing me there? What is disturbing me there somewhere? I have to tell you that is because um. When a record company is uh, taking the affairs of an artist, so it has to be like all inclusive. So if you are doing the traditional uh, performances, which is like wedding ceremonies or the uh, whatsoever, so they don't have any hand in that. But then, but then, uh, where do they place you? Because if you are doing, um, how do they get their money back? How do they get them? No, <laughs> you, you tell you. <laughs> you are pushing me. No, you know, um, I, you know, you know, um, here in the Gambia, or we the uh, grill, trad traditional singers. I'm a grill. I have my butterflies, and when they have their naming ceremonies, I'll go and play, play for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. different from Jollof Arts contract. That's what I'm trying to say. You understand? Ah, okay. So yeah, Jolf I, I got that. It's not. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not. It's, it's not the same with my traditional. Singing for my butterflies, going to their naming ceremonies with, with a local instrument, singing for them. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's a different thing. You understand? Because I cannot leave my traditional yeah. my butterflies. I cannot leave my butterflies. No, 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 no. no. I, you, you know, you cannot, you cannot leave the tradition. You cannot leave the traditional. But I mean, I mean, I am just getting you as Kumba Gaulo Seka. Like for instance, I just give you an example. If I am getting you as Kumba Gaulo Seka. Or Maria Makeba of um, the Southern Africa. So I will, I will just say that, um, okay, uh, Sambu, you are culturally gifted, but again, uh, packaging you like as a product because of you yourself as Sambu Suso, you are a company. So, and that is the reason why a production company have interest in you to be able to invest um, on your career so that both of you can benefit. And, and and I know very well that uh, the cultural people, that is the communities, they are your crowd. Uh, so if if anyone have to promote Sambu, you have to ensure that the uh, the communities are aware, so that you know the communities can be able to you know uh, be present in those performances. So. Um, I know we call it Mbikadi, like um, the Mbikadi <laughs> side. <laughs> I know the Mbikadi <laughs> side. <laughs> so when the Mbikadi side is there. So, but anyway, um, that is a plus. Um, I, I, I'm, yeah. That is a plus because we need to preserve. What do you say about that? We need to preserve no. our culture. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. It's very important. It's very, that's, that is why. For me, I never forget the culture, you know, I because culture, my career is culture. But you know, we have to modernize to, to satisfy other um, communities, other, because maybe I'm singing for you. You don't understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying. But the music that, I'm, mm -hmm. uh, that can make you dance, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, somebody listening to a song, you don't know what that person is singing, but you can like the music, so that is it. So that's exactly. why we modernize. We take it from the uh, cultural and modernize mm -hmm. it so that everyone mm -hmm. will 
Exactly. We have, so, uh, we so, so we like that. Um, uh, one fact I must say for, for sure is that the, the kind of music that you play and then the presentation, yeah, because you are also presentable. So you are a diva, uh, and then we 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 like that. Mariamo also was also here. She is also a diva. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, we we, we like really we, we like. Um, mm -hmm. I'm proud of her. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So so you are a diva. So we we, we like that, uh, and then we we all we also want you guys to transform that uh, into the music culture, uh, so that you know to be presentable and then um to be uh relevant uh relevant in the sense of the culture which you are doing and we like that fact also um samu uh we we just a lot of people are saying that they want to hear your voice because they said um you have a unique voice i i, I don't know are you going to give us uh trahmaha trahmaha or whatsoever like this is a cultural song you want I, I like it so much. So maybe probably you can give us an a cappella with regards to that before we in end this program. In traditional. Yeah, in tradition. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you say trauma. You want trauma? I'll give yeah, you trauma. Yeah, trauma. Yeah, I like it. I like trauma. Trauma mi ba tu sare yo mande kele ke kuwa kadi trauma ganu ma tu sare yo. Amuru iba tu ramami ba samba iba na mande kele ke kubakadi tu ramanu ma susare yo tu rama tu mani kange ya muke muzani muke dan tu ma pe kuru dai da na fa be kanulu bari kada tu ramani siri. Romagan in your noba, Romagan in your tocole. Na 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 na. Mukemus and Mukedantuma. Muru Ibana, Troma de Banyalon. Tama Ibana, Troma de Banyalon. Ya 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 ya. Jobu yet Romagane. Sunny Tromagaye, money yet Romagaye. Ya ya ya. Jobate yet Romagaye. Trawara yet Romagane. Sampa ware mutra maganti, kampa ware mutra maganti, dambele mutra maganti, la la tra magani kangija, mutemuga ni mutemuga. Amuru iba tu rama miba tu sarinjo mande keleke kubeka di tu rama ganu ma tu sarinjo. Wow, wow, beautiful, beautiful sambu. Ah. Uh... So even when you are singing, so I mean, there is not a ban. Um, people are not watching you. Um, people are watching you in real time. But again, um, there is no ban. It's not a performance center. But you, you see how you are improvising it. You know. So we just love that. And 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 moreover, we just want to say, Sambu, like cultural artists, you know. Are you guys doing some kind of research to be able to get all these things in your head with regards to the culture? Like, I'm just talking about the title and then fuck, you question, are gone. You know this question, people do ask us this question. Uh -huh. People do ask this question um, because um, like uh, other, like artists, those who are not, in, those who don't inherit our side, you know, they write, mm -hmm. we do write. We have our own songs that we write. But traditionally, it comes naturally because you are trained, you listen to it, you ask questions. You know, it's, it's about tradition, you have to ask questions. Mm -hmm. It's all about asking questions to know the history, you know, know the history of Ramagan, Sengeta, mm -hmm. Bakoli, you know, and so on. You know, so it's a, that's, what I, that's why I told you it's a natural talent, Scal. It's a natural talent. It's, it's, it's a natural mm -hmm. talent. Even me, my mm -hmm. family, my family, we don't go to land Cora from anyone. If you like it, you'll play it. Can you believe that? We are the Bamba Jalis. Mm -hmm. Bamba Jalis is our family. If you love the Cora, you'll play the Cora. No one will teach you. Billahi wa laikala. Everyone knows about that. We don't go to any compound, any jelly compound, and say that, please, I come to land Cora. No, no, no. You'll never see that. If you love it, you'll play it. So, but, but, but it means are they giving you guys some kind of concussion? No, that, it's um, not, just natural. Just, that's, natural. 
That's the Jalibamba Suso family. That's, we, that's who we are. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jalibamba, like Jalibamba Suso. So, uh, so is the, he is the namesake of my dad. Um, uh, I, I must say that. Uh, you know, uh -huh. so we're like in the heart. Uh, we, we, we are from him. Jalibamba Suso. You know. Wow. So, okay, Sambu. Uh, Sambu, we just want you to tell us your plans uh, in the coming um, uh, months. Uh, and then uh, maybe one last question. That is, how did COVID-19 impact on the music uh, industry? And then also like, like, like you. Yeah. yeah. The COVID-19 bring many setbacks um, in the music scene, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Because... As I told you, like, Jolof has planned an album for me and other artists. Uh, mm -hmm. at the, what you see, we can only produce. For us not to be sitting without doing something or people not hearing from us, we have to do something like releasing singles, releasing mm -hmm. a video. You see, if I can tell you we have planned something, I can't tell you anything because you can just, uh, this COVID-19 thing, nobody knows when it will leave the this wall you know you can mm -hmm. be planning something they said uh, uh like a lockdown or the, the COVID is coming the COVID. some people are suffering from COVID, you know or the COVID has hit again you know so anything you plan mm -hmm. now my friend <laughs> i don't think it will work so we are just uh hanging on waiting for the COVID mm -hmm. thing, so we can see what to do inshallah Okay, uh, we wish you all the best, Sambu. We wish you all the best, and then, uh, and I would like yeah. to, uh, I would like to, um, send my regards to all Gambian women, African women, mm -hmm. women of the world, mm -hmm. our Gambian ladies outside there, you know, in the diaspora. I have many friends there. I'm sending my regards to them, especially the female artists association. I'm saying thank you to all of them. I love them all, you know, we are all friends, family, you know. And we have so, but I, I, mean, I, I did not ask you that question. I just want to finish that. Uh, are you guys willing to go to Congress? Yes. Are you going to Congress? Yes, we are ready. There. We are ready to go to Congress, and um, we've regrouped ourselves again. We have a forum. We used to have uh, discussions there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of posters, you know, whatever. If someone is working on a show or you have something to do, you'll send it in the forum. Then we'll comment on it, and we'll, you know. Okay. Then we are, we've regrouped, we've regrouped ourselves again come together again inshallah because we are we were planning a show before this COVID-19 problem we were planning okay. a show yes you know you, you if you could remember we we were planning a show but it they have said that you, yeah you I, I think, I think that already. was the time I I, I traveled yeah, uh, that was like traveled. yeah but I mean that is long time ago okay. uh, yeah. so that's what we want to do again but we are going on Congress after Congress we'll see what to do see what we can do maybe this COVID thing will, pass. will be a thing of a past Okay. okay. Um, I'm saying hi to Sengai from Sweden. I saw her here, Malmo. She's uh -huh. Sengai, Sengai, my dear. Yes. Malmo. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Sengai. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And, and somebody also, somebody, I don't want to stop you. Somebody is saying that do we know what people are charged with uh, when a copyright violation has taken place? Um, um, up to 50,000 Gambian dollars, and then even more than that, it can go up to a million Gambian dollars. Because, um, and then uh, what do they charge people who steal your work uh, if found guilty? That again is a legal uh, issue. So you mm -hmm. just have to report it uh, to the center, the National Center for Arts and yeah, Culture. And then, yeah, if there them. are evidence, yeah, so they will take it to the court and then mm -hmm. uh, they will address the individual. Uh, that is mm -hmm. what I know for now. Um, think, yeah, because the law, the law is already there. It's just about implementation. But again, yeah. What we should do, I think, um, I think we, we the, the unions and the presidents, mm -hmm. they have mm -hmm. a lot of work to do, you know. They have mm -hmm. a lot of work to do, to go and see the stakeholders, explain mm -hmm. to them what, uh, mm -hmm. what, what's, what's the, what's the, um, the what's, what, what does this mean? I think they don't know the meaning. I don't, I don't think, I don't know. Yeah, well, like you were saying, the, the awareness, the awareness yeah, is very yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, the, I was telling Mariama, that yeah, is the so reason I was telling Mariama. But Mariama, also Mariama, to only, Mariama cannot do that herself. Only uh, the president, the union, the president, the union presidents should also come together. 
you know, see the stakeholders. Exactly. The Let them know exactly. what is the meaning of this. It is very exactly. important for us. You know, we are doing music exactly. just like that because we love it. We are doing mm -hmm. it because we love it. Mm -hmm. I think now... So, so Sambo, thank you so much. Um, I, I just wanted to say... I'm thanking Sol so of your hearts, my brother. Uh, yeah, uh, so, so uh, I, I will have him maybe probably next week he will be here. Aha. Uh -huh. And yeah. all the girls are school, the, the, uh, the uh, camera crew, the, you know, the production crew, I'm saying hi yeah, to exactly. everyone in the past family. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you so much, Sambu Suso, um, uh, the, um, the afro Manding diva, and then uh, some people call you the afro Manding, um, you know, queen. Um, anyway, anyway around, uh, we appreciate it all. Uh, and then we want to say you are a griot singer, um, hailing from the Gambia, from a griot family, and then you have your own band, and then you are a, a cultural artist. And then you also working with a, a, an entertainment level called the Jolly Arts. I'm currently working on a new album. Um, you've been, uh, you know, around for so many years, and then you know a lot of people know you in and outside the Gambia. Uh, you are the president of the Female Artists Association that is um, uh, initiated by the Women's Bureau of the Gambia to be able to empower uh, female musicians uh, in our country. Uh, under your great leadership, we want to thank you for coming uh, to well, Gambia Talents TV uh, on this great interview. And we hope to have you here someday soon, very soon. When it, your album is finished, uh, we can talk about that. Uh, until you come our way next week again. And watch out for watch out for ce celebrated celebrated uh, celebrating Gambia, and mm -hmm. uh, watch, out, watch out for uh, Gambian women celebrating Gambian women. Mm -hmm. And how long? Ah, uh, do, do, you can watch all those clips on uh, Joel of Arts uh, platform. So you okay. you have new, new video clips here. Yeah. 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 I got one. I got Nanko, one. I got one already. Nanko, Bella, all produced by Joel of Arts and Manjau Long by Joel of Arts. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. So uh, Joel of Arts Entertainment uh, is, is the one producing her. So they have a, a, a channel, a YouTube channel. So because of the copyright infringement, so we don't want to play any video that uh, we will be able to uh, be be sued or you know maybe this great interview will be taken out because that is what YouTube is doing now. So and uh, we don't want to play your videos and the next minute they write and say hey your sambu was on your show and then that video is copyrighted. So but apart from that, uh, visually we we got uh, those videos, but people can go on Joel of Arts Entertainment and they can click on your YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much, Sambu. Uh, for you. coming, and we also want to thank uh, Maria Makoli. Uh, she is yeah. very busy with the way uh, and I, and I live with her. I live with her. Maria, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm by your side. <laughs> okay, so it, it was a great interview. Thank you so much, Samu. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. And then uh, to our viewers out there, we want to say um, thank you so much for joining thank us you. and tuning into the Kambo Talents Hi. TV. Until you come ah. away, I'm your host, Kalilu Badia. And I said good evening. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.